What's up, guys? So today I'm going to be answering some questions that were posted on YouTube um, as opposed to email or anything else. Um, so let's get to it. So the first question I have is from Jay Doberman. Uh, he says, since one of the bases you talk about is investigate thoroughly, how did you begin to investigate the movement of funds in that dark ecosystem? The use of Monroe or any history on these topics. Um, so to answer this question, I think it's the the investigation strategy that I used was kind of the same that you see, you know, in everywhere else. It's just learning about that individual technology first. So whether it's studying, you know, Bitcoin or studying Monroe and learning how that technology works, you know, is it safe? Is it secure? Where does it come from? How's it formed? You know, if you know who formed it, um, all those different things you know i think i think the best way to understand anything is to understand it at its root at its base you know it's 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 initial conception you know if you will it's like you know if you want to understand someone's life story you know maybe going all the way back to when they were born or even you know if you go further back than that you know um you know when their parents conceived that person like you know, did the mother drink? Did she do drugs while she's pregnant? Like all those, all those kind of things, I think, add into, you know, what made that person along with obviously their, their upbringing and, you know, nature and nurture and all, all those kind of things go into it. So I think any subject that we study or look at, um, if we, if you want that full perspective of, uh, of that is to look at everything that's involved in it. And obviously there's a limit to that, right? Like, you know, at the end of the day, if you want to learn woodworking, you know, you're not going to go out and, you know, make your own saw blades and build your own saw mill and like, you know, all this kind of you know crazy stuff, you know, you're not going to be out there forging iron like it's Minecraft or whatever, you know, to, to make your own tools. It's just not practical to do, but there is a level of, you know, research and, you know, how in depth you want to go, I think really depends on the situation that you're studying that subject matter for. So like I didn't need to, I don't need to know everything about Bitcoin or everything about Monroe. I just kind of had to understand the basics of, you know, how it works and the fact that like Monroe, you know, has a little bit more of a privacy, you know, Christian built into it than, than Bitcoin did, you know, where like, you know, Bitcoin, it's, it's, it's just absolutely insane how they can track and trace and, and, and follow money. Um, even like you start reading about it, I was like, you know, using AI to do it. Like it's, it's absolutely crazy. So really at the end of the day, there's just that. And then there's also the, you know, the, some of the speculation that you find on like forums um, can help you. Cause like you, you read something, you might not believe it. And you looking it up and trying to confirm whether or not it's true inherently you're going to learn a lot more it's like if you start studying one thing and then you learn about this other cool thing and like you branch off momentarily and get lost in that hole you know where you're researching this offshoot of something you were researching and then you come back to it and then you keep going down that path but you have like these deviations where you go off and you learn about cool things that have to do with whatever it is that you were originally studying. And I think that's probably one of the most empowering things, but just being eclectic, you know, being open to anything and, you know, being willing to investigate things will lead you to other things and lead you to other discoveries. And, you know, also not just looking at the history of it, but looking at its present, you know, present day, like, you know, if you go and you look up, you know, how Bitcoin is stolen or, you know, um, seeing how they go about doing it will also let you see some of those vulnerabilities that exist with it. And you know, you know, not to be vulnerable, not to do the things, whatever those people did um, that got them screwed over. And I think that's the biggest thing is kind of trying to learn from that historical precedent, you know, um, and some people can do that. Some people can't. Um, I'm pretty bad at learning from history, uh, to be honest with you, but it's just, it's a learning process, you know, and the, the biggest thing is, is, is just getting better in time, you know, like being, being wine and aging well, um, 
and getting better with time as opposed to being like fruit and becoming rotten putrid. Um, and I think that's, that's the biggest thing, you know, is, is making yourself better in time, not worse. And uh, I just totally digressed off the question that you asked, but, um, I think, I think I answered it right. Um, if I didn't feel free to contact me and, and, you know, tell me to be more specific or break it down better. And I absolutely will. Um, thank you for your question, Jay Doberman. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching and hit that like button if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.